Okay, so this is going to be a very special fruit video for you. I'm going to talk about hybridization of citrus fruits. Now a lot of the citrus fruits that we know and love are actually created through cross-pollinating two different uh, fruit trees together. So I'm going to actually start things off with this guy. Now this guy is a mandarin. Now mandarin, he didn't get along with the girls at school. He wanted someone a little more unique in his life, so he came across this lady here, a pomelo. Now their parents did not agree to their love. Imagine a little guy like this and a big sexy lady like this getting together, going steady. Just wasn't natural. But, despite their forbidden love, they got married, they had kids, and their kid was an orange. Yeah, the orange is a natural hybrid between those two fruits, the pomelo and the mandarin. Now the orange, he didn't know where he was placed in life. There's no other oranges around. What was he gonna do? The only woman that he knew was his mother. So he found a lady just like mom. They went steady, they went out, they had a kid, and that kid was a grapefruit. The grapefruit is a natural hybrid between the orange and the pomelo. She was brought up in a very progressive household, but she wanted to connect with her roots, so she found somebody that kind of reminded her of Grandpa, the Mandarin. She found a tangerine. Now, tangerines are related to the Mandarins, but they are a little different. Well, the two of them, they got together and they had a baby, the Tangelo. The Tangelos can also be created through a uh, hybridization of a pomelo and a tangerine, hence the name tangelo, but this kind in particular is actually a cross between the grapefruit and tangerine. Now this tangelo went off to college and the parents never heard from him again. He got into show business, I guess. But the um, tangerine and the grapefruit, they, they wanted a little more spice in their life, so they made an ad on Craigslist in the casual encounter section and they came across this man right here another orange now the orange the tangerine and the grapefruit well they got together they had some fun times together some unnatural acts and as a result it was as if God cursed them with this this is a Jamaican tangelo also appropriately named the ugly fruit and this is a cross between a grapefruit, a tangerine, and an orange. So to give you a quick summary, if you take a mandarin and you cross-pollinate it with a pomelo, you get an orange. If you take an orange and you cross-pollinate it with a pomelo, you get a grapefruit. If you take a grapefruit and you cross-pollinate it with a tangerine, you get a tangelo. Now if you take a grapefruit, a tangerine, and an orange, and you cross-pollinate the three of them together, you get a Jamaican tangelo. And that is how fruit babies are born. Okay, so this is the pomelo. I'm going to talk a little bit more about this guy here. Now the pomelo is uh, obviously a very large fruit. I believe this is probably the largest citrus fruit out there. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, they're very popular throughout Asia. In um, China, during the Mooncake Festival, they are eaten as a during the celebration. Uh, the leaves of the pomelo tree are used in uh, in China. They're they're put into ritualistic baths, and they're supposedly um, able to cure people or to cleanse people of evil. It's always, it's always a good thing. Uh, in Assam, India, the pomelo is used as a football. Now, pomelos are very disappointing fruit because so much of it is pith. You see all that? Only, uh, the amount of fruit you get is maybe the same as, like, a grapefruit. Maybe a little bit more, but most of it is this pith here that's actually very difficult to, uh, to get through. Okay, like, two minutes later, and I now have <laughs> some pomelos separated out here. Um, 
it's very time consuming to get to get to the flesh here. Like on like an orange, you see these little little pieces of pulp, and they're very small uh, and tight together. On a pomelo, they're very loose; they can crumble apart very easily. And um, the taste is really good. It's like if you took uh, grapefruit and you know that bitter taste that you get with a grapefruit, you know, why you gotta put sugar on a grapefruit? Well, it doesn't have that. It tastes very similar to grapefruit, just uh, sweeter. It's kind of interesting that, you know, in America at least, like, everybody eats grapefruit. People don't normally even know what a pomelo is. Um, but pomelos are superior, at least in my opinion. They are, they don't have that bitterness at all. They're very nice tasting. Um, I guess, like, the biggest thing, you know, is that they're very difficult to to cut into. So if you want to eat pomelo, you gotta you gotta spend five minutes like hacking away at it, but then you're you you're rewarded with a really nice tasting fruit. And you could also take the rind and um, if you cut the rind off you can candy it. You just boil it in a little sugar water and um, eat it that way. So it's uh, it's got more purposes than just uh, the, the fruit itself. But yeah, the uh, pomelo fruit uh, is very good. If you haven't had it, go out and get some. I know that the most common name for this is ugly fruit, but ugly fruit is actually a trademark from um, the Cable Hall Citrus Company. So the uh, actual uh, fruit name is Jamaican Tangelo. I don't know where the name unique fruit comes from. Um, maybe it's another company that, that has uh, that sells these and is trying to to market off of it in a similar way. I, I don't know. If you know, let me know. But the insides are okay looking. <laughs> What's kind of interesting is that there is um, quite a lot of space in here. They're actually fairly easy to peel. As you see that they're not. Uh, they're not very tightly attached to the to the pith here, kind of like how um, like an easy peel orange or tangerine is. Only these are naturally like that. The wedges come out pretty easily. Let me show you a whole one here. There's a wedge of it, kind of funky looking because it's such like a squat fruit. But that's the guy right here. Uh, if you look at the the pulp there, it's uh, very juicy, you know, it's it's kind of like um, big chunks of pulp, kind of like a pomelo is, but it's much juicier. You can't really separate them the way you can with a pomelo. Okay, so if I had to give a diagnosis on what this is similar to, I would say it's similar to an orange, but if you took uh, you took some of the bitterness from the grapefruit and you put it in there, but not so much that it's like unbearable. It's it's not nearly as bitter as a grapefruit is, but there is like a little bit of bitterness in there. It's mostly pretty mellow. Um, it's not very sweet and it's not very sour. Uh, it's kind of mellow. It has a little touch of bitterness to it. Yeah, I'm not sure what else to say about it, um, but it is very interesting. Honestly, I don't really like this that much. Um, like, I would eat it, but I wouldn't go out of my way to get this. Um, I would probably rather eat a tangerine or an orange or a grapefruit rather than this uh, hybrid of the three of them. Just for good measure, I'm going to give a quick review of um, an, a, just a normal tangelo, a uh, cross between the, uh, the tangerine and the grapefruit. So, uh, and compare it to what I, um, and compare it to a Jamaican tangelo, which is the, uh, the grapefruit, tangerine, and orange. So, uh, let me give this a try. Well, I prefer them. This is um, 
much more tart. Um, it might just be the one, the the Jamaican Tangelo that I got, but if I had to um, compare the two that I have, this one is a lot more tart. It reminds me more of a tangerine. It's got that like kind of like tart and uh, sweet flavor to it. The Jamaican Tangelo kind of um, the Jamaican Tangelo tastes more like a watered down like grapefruit, but this one tastes like more of like a a little bit extra sour tangerine, if that makes any sense. So that's uh yeah that's like probably the best I can do, you know, comparing the two. They're very very different, even though they're you know biologically have similar um, parent fruits they are quite different in flavor uh, but the uh, regular tangelo good stuff I'd, I'd pick that up any day Jamaican tangelo they're okay they're they're interesting just to know like what they where they come from and everything but if I had to pick one to eat I would just stick with the regular tangelo all right that's just a little little extra bonus for you and um, that's all I have to say for today thanks <laughs>